Hello and welcome to another episode of Faith X Life, where we dissect how our faith intersects with our lives. Uh, we're here on a Thursday today, yeah. instead of a Tuesday. He switches it up on you guys. We, we are. Just so you guys don't get, you know, used to consistency. <laughs> No, that's not Tuesday bad, when we told you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what said. No, but it's going to be Thursdays uh, from now to through the foreseeable future. We're going to move Faith X Life from Tuesdays to Thursdays. So we'll be here every Thursday uh, going over the message. And also to note, if there is no Sunday message, we won't be here. <laughs> so uh, 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 God's been moving a lot in the services where we haven't even been getting to a message. So there's that, a lot of different variables. But when you see us, you know, there is a message and Come we'll on. be here to talk about it. <laughs> um, so pastor's been talking about it's an inside job. And um, the main scriptures come from Genesis. And uh, when uh, God breathed in to Adam in Adam or breathe into man and man became a living soul but um just the fact that uh, I think one of the things that he pointed out when he first started the this message series it was early February I think um in pastor said that you know like things like worry and anxiety and those things those are inside jobs as well and it's up to us we have that choice at any given moment to Access the help and the power of the Holy Spirit, who is also on the inside, um, or to lean on the things like worry and anxiety. So anytime uh, we're uh, faced with um, a decision to make in a moment, it's an inside job and we have the choice to rely on the power of the Holy Spirit, the strength of the Holy Spirit, or rely on the power of worry and anxiety and fear. So... Yeah, it's an inside job. One of the things that Pastor started off um, Sunday's message with was how it's great when we live in purpose. And then all the things that kind of accompany what being in purpose means. You know, it's not always this easy road. It's not always something that's going to feel good. Um, So one of the things he said was when you don't see results, that's not the time to give up. It's the time to press in. And I just see that this picture of this um, guy who's mining and uh, he's in a coal mine. He has his uh, pickaxe or whatever is used to mine. <laughs> and he's got like he can't see it, but there's like this he's been he has this whole pile of coal behind him because he's been pushing through and he stops. But we can see it on the picture. But the there's a whole uh, pile of diamonds on the other side and he he's walking away because everything that he um pushed every every aspect of the coal and stuff that he'd already pushed right. through you know he didn't see the Come breakthrough on. coming but it was right there right on the other side so i think that is a great point to pull out that when we're living in purpose and we're not seeing results it's not the time to give up it's the time to That's keep so pressing good. in yes sir going back to the breathing through come on um he gives the expression of that in the garden ex- experience when uh, when God is is creating man when they're creating him in his, in his image they to create him they breathe through his nostrils mm-hmm. and gave the gave the understanding that it was the breath that came through the nostrils that allowed the, allow the live the living thing to come mm. through what they gave to him on mm. the inside mm. and that every time you take a deep breath or you every time you take a breath come on. it comes from the nostrils and then you exhale out and that mm. if you were to hold on to that breath that the opposite effect uh, carbon dioxide that's uh, right yeah will happen but it's just seeing the correlation, the understanding that you take that breath from your nose and then you exhale. You're exhaling the the breath of God, breath of God, the breath that's on the inside, given to you by God, and where 
the Holy Spirit resides. Come on. Uh, so I just thought that was a great understanding because we we don't we don't pay attention to the certain aspects of of scripture when it says a specific detail about how something came about. Come on. Um, I really loved he talked about uh, animals. Yes, he and did. he talked about how animals came first. And uh, he gave, he brought the understanding of like you see a lot in a lot of these countries like even in, in America where the animals are living well, they're eating well. Um, they, you know, some, depending on the situation, they're sleeping in beds, um, right, yeah. eating human food, uh -huh. they're going to doctors like humans, but bringing that understanding that they were here first. Mm. And what we, we don't really pay attention. We get, we jump ahead to Eve and mm. uh, she came out of the rib of Adam, but not realizing that he gave the understanding that after Adam was created, he created the uh, fish of the sea, the animals of the ground, and then he brought them to Adam to That's name right. them. Yeah. So like bringing that understanding that that a lot of the relationship aspect uh -huh. of of people mm -hmm. is catered to animals in a lot of respect because of where their place is. Mm -hmm. Um, from where it started from the garden That's I good. like found that like, interesting it, and then he was talking about how we have to be careful um, with the animals that we have because they possess uh, understandings of hmm. what they want to do in there and well it's funny because he was just uh, talking about you know you have some pets that just you no, call them by name. The house. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them, and they're like, "No, I'm not listening to you." Um, but just bring the understanding of why a uh, relationship is needed, mm -hmm. and why some people will prefer to be in the presence of an animal or have an animal because animal can't can't talk and can't. That's right. They're a lot for comfort, and that yeah, that makes. That was a good point. That makes a lot of sense too. Yeah, that was the like the garden environment. What was provided? And we can like dismiss people or uh, not dismiss, but um, like look at people like they're uh, you know something's wrong <laughs> when they put their animals first. But yeah, you're right. That started started in the garden and uh, and then came relationship. So shouldn't give people too much slack for loving their loving their animals. You know. <laughs> <laughs> having, um, having that um, that uh that situation a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then uh another thing um several years ago I remember pastor talking about like this is a three part um like observation, obligation and application. And uh, in Sunday's message he talked about it in reference to like a time of like preparation and um you know you start with observing something you start with seeing it and then you become obligated to what you see and uh have a responsibility to address it or or to choose it but once you're faced with something once you see the reality of something uh you can't just turn away from it like and that's the um think of um, Moses when he was on the backside of the mountain and it said that he turned aside to see, you know, that he looked and that's when God revealed, uh, revealed himself to Moses as far as uh, what he wanted to accomplish through Moses for the Israelites. But it was just turning aside to see. And sometimes um, like once we see something, we can't, unsee it it can be hard to and especially in matters i mean pastor started with talking about purpose but in the things that god is preparing us for um uh yeah preparing us for because he's already prepared the thing he's just preparing us for it but it's what we observe and then what we become obligated because of what we observed and then how we apply like what the what the steps are 
because of that. And then that goes back to what you were saying about the breath and um, how once we're breathing in God and Pastor Jonathan gave a word about this. It's been a couple months now, but like Yahweh, we're, every time we breathe in and breathe out, like we're breathing in and breathing out his name. Um, but it's uh, like once we do breathe him in, we can't afford to not breathe out because that's when sickness and stuff comes like the carbon monoxide. Um, uh, you know, we're suffocating ourselves when we're holding a breath. Like when God gives us something, it's to Come on, that's like good. to not just give us life, that's but good. then the air that we breathe sustains life for you know, those around us too. Which is not by accident that we're breathing Him out. Okay, come on, um, talk about and it, sir. That, and that that creates the cycle of like uh, photosynthesis. Okay, and the plants and bring them. Not bio- to we're biology. not going into like a biology <laughs> lesson, but it's just it's it's amazing that what we give off Mm -hmm. helps helps growth of of other things yeah they give it they give it to us and we take it and they're able to produce what they need it's this this cycle created by by yahweh come on by yahweh that's it and so it goes for whatever you're carrying on the inside uh that the breath of god has given life to it becomes like the observation obligate but obligation application it becomes your responsibility it comes our responsibility to breathe out and provide oh, life Lord, for those around us um another point that pastor made was when god breathed into adam man's thought life came alive uh-oh uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> yes <laughs> it's, it's a good like we are, we know we talk about like free will and how god gave us the opportunity to choose you know he wants us to choose him he wants us to choose like the life that he's um planned the good things that he has in store for us he wants us to choose him uh but we have free will so god was taking a risk when he gave us his breath Mm. you know like because there's not a certainty that everyone's going to choose him Uh, but his breath is on the inside of everyone so there's that choice that we all have to um to uh like uh receive his breath and then to choose him with every breath that we take and so when god gave us his breath and our thought life came alive it it was risky but god still gave it to us and out of the pastor talked about how out of the abundance of the heart you know the mouth speaks and how it's another aspect of it being an inside job because what we think matters i mean pastor john we've been uh talking about uh from mental health mondays we just had the mental health in the bible seminar right our thought life is critical it's pivotal Uh to the way that we're walking out our relationship and our life with god but yeah it is a risk because like we talked about earlier we can choose worry and we can choose anxiety and you know that's the that's the choice we have because our thought life has come alive because of God's breath, and that initially our essentially mm-hmm. our thought life is an inside job. Okay, sir, and, talk and, about and it. it. And it starts from the inside, and mm-hmm. um, we're not going political with this next point, but a lot of what we are seeing in these times with people's agendas and thoughts on different issues different political stuff Mm -hmm. is is their thought life is what was given to us by god free will coming coming in in real time the the understanding of good and uh good and evil Mm -hmm. through the garden experience it's it's an inside job it started from what was given to us um and in a lot of cases a lot of good has come from what we understand from good and evil, but um, there's been a lot of not so, not so good. Um, That's but understanding that that was that was the risk that you were saying that was given to us. Yeah, that's good. I think that goes into 
what I have for my last point. I don't know what you have, but uh, it's, um, Pastor talked about like what comes out of our mouths and how if it's not a creative blessing, it'll be a corrupt blessing. Wow. And if we if we look at that, how the breath of God brought ma- our thought life, made our thought life come alive, and out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, then what we're speaking is coming out of the substance of who we are, coming out of That's good. that aspect. And if we're not speaking out of creative blessing, because we look at back at Genesis 1, when God said, let there be light, like his words were a creative blessing like right. that brought forth creation. So if we're not speaking and creating what we want to see, uh, it'll be a corrupt blessing and we end up um, tearing things yeah. down, tearing them apart, r- wreaking havoc because our words are not um, constructive, not building, not creating, but um, tearing down and corrupting what they're what they're touching well to add to that come on um you hinder what blessings you could receive Uh um he also brought like a a point where um there are people in your lives that are there to bless you and they're asking the lord when Mm. um but sometimes through what comes out of your mouth sometimes through how you are those blessings are delayed because you're not ready to receive those blessings. Yeah. And I, I feel like that that can be a hard um point because you never know what what promises and blessings you're waiting for and people possess it. But because of where you are, mm-hmm. where your thought life is, mm-hmm. what's proceeding out of your mouth, uh, can hinder, can mm-hmm. destroy what is there to bring blessings yeah. and was there to to give you, give you that mm-hmm. that uh, perceived uh, promise that you've been waiting for. That's good. Come on. So that's come good, on. and I think that ties back to the previous sermon series that Pastor was doing about the gift of God, and it all it all you know kind of intersects with um, you know wanting and needing to be right and watching how our words are so that when other people are coming to be a gift in their, you know, uh, time of preparation or the time of the giving that we're in alignment with where we're supposed to be, who we're supposed to be so that we can receive what God has for us. Come on. That's so good. Amen. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you for watching another episode of Faith X Life where we dissect how our faith intersects with with our our lives. lives. See you next time. Thursday. Don't be late.